Hello and welcome back to Airport CEO. My name is Jordan and this is Haya Airport. We're about to get quality kitchen restaurants um, researched. I kind of sped it up and just played it through and let this research finish itself so that we could get started right away. Um, now that that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and unlock aircraft cabin cleaning, although I'm wondering... Oh, I need a weather station. Okay, so I'm going to do aircraft cabin cleaning next. Um, and that's good. So, um, I just want to mention, I was looking around the terminal and I noticed that we don't have any uh, trash cans through, through the check-in area. So, just bear with me a moment here. I'm going to quickly throw some trash cans in, um, which I hope will help with the uh, sanitation issues that are happening around the area. Um, also, I feel really bad for our janitors. They're kind of being overworked right now. Um, like right now, let's take a look. 1,054 jobs available. Um, so they definitely don't have any shortage of work. Um, I, I need to look into that and see what I can do to help relieve relieve that because yeah that's 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 a lot that's a lot of stuff they have to do um, and the terminal is definitely looking like it's in need of some love like there's dirt everywhere garbage everywhere so we definitely need to sort that out um, but yeah this this restaurant let's let's see what we need to do so. Ooh, there's like kitchen items. Okay, so I'm assuming you have to make a kitchen area. Uh, restaurant. I don't see like a kitchen room thing. It does it just use food room? I guess so. Um. Okay, where's a good place to put a restaurant? I mean, I think these guys are all good. They're being taken care of. Um, hmm. Um, I didn't really think this through beforehand, however. I think uh, I think I'll put the restaurant on the end of this terminal, like in this area. I think that's a good spot for it. It's not like super high traffic, um, so I'll take some seating out there. Okay, so I'm just gonna like nestle it into this corner, the kitchen stuff against this wall. I'm gonna remove the windows there. Um, Okay, and okay, so we need to draw out a food room. Gonna make it pretty large. Ooh, there's all kinds of options. Italian kitchen. I think I'm gonna do this. Uh, Bistro Bohemi. Um, it's got it's four stars. It's got 
49% airport cut. Uh, rent per hour is 1,740. Needs four cooking stations, four armchairs, two plants, two tables, and cafe counter. It says zero. Um, okay, so cooking stations. Let's do that first. Cooking station. Did I say four? I think I said four. Uh, Okay, so I got like this whole kitchen area going on. I'm gonna put a wall through it, like so. I think I'm gonna have to move this window down just, just a little bit. tables, plants, cafe counter. It says zero, so I don't think I need one of those. Um, but we need to put some plants, tables, and armchairs. There is definitely no shortage of seating for this for this uh, dining area. I kind of like it. Um, I think I'll leave it like that. 
and then I'm just gonna put some tables in. Table, 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 table. And that should be it. Um, put some plants. I wanna put some hedges here. And we're gonna need to put some flooring down. Go go. Let's go with the green flooring for the dining area. And I already colored the kitchen area, so I'll leave that. Uh, we should also make this kitchen area um, staff only. And that should be it. Let me see if I can open. Uh, I still need a cafe counter, even though it says cafe counter zero, apparently I still need one, so let's go ahead and put one in. Okay, put that one in. table just to make sure that there's like a clear walkthrough. Um, but yeah, everything else should be fine. Oh, I gotta fix this wall. Alright, so we're just waiting for the cafe counter to go in and then I can go ahead and get that up and running. Um, I'd also... I'd also like to do something about this bathroom because I definitely don't think this is sufficient enough for this area. Um, so I plan to do that next. Perfect, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and sign the contract. And there we go. Uh, bathroom. So I think what I'll do is um, I think I'll put like I was thinking of putting like a smaller bathroom up this way um, which is a good idea You know what, I want to move this backwards a little bit.
I always change my mind when I'm doing stuff like this. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Oh, our first passenger going to the kitchen or the restaurant. Oh, I see. So these kitchen staff kind of just like go out, get the order, go back, prepare the food. That's what it looks like anyway. Awesome. I think this is a bit too small actually. We might need to expand it out just a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bathrooms down now. Trying to figure out a good positioning for that thing right there. That's good. Cool. Um, all right, so I'm just waiting for the contractors. Okay, this one good to go. Good to go. 
So we have two new bathrooms up and running. Oh my god, this is a mess. Okay, I said I was gonna help the janitors. Let's let's try and do that. Um, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, okay. Um, just bear with me one moment here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start looking at this air, uh, terminal area. Um, so that way we can section it off and have empl certain employees in certain areas. So, okay. So I guess this is going to become a terminal. I'll... Oh wait, this was the problem I had last time where it all shares this. Okay, yep, yeah, no, this is going to mess things up again. Um... Okay, I think... I think the only option I have at this point is just to hire more janitors for the time being. Um, okay, let's do that. Um, I also need, looks like I need more security officers, so let's get a couple of those. Janitor, oh. Um, checked. I'll get another service technician as well. Okay, uh, I refuse to hire more passenger service agents. I don't think they're needed. Although I could be wrong. Oh, I never... I never linked these up. <laughs> okay, so this should release some pressure from the, the service agent, uh, passenger service agents. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to hire more now, I'm just going to wait and see. Um, but passengers should start checking themselves in and dropping their bags off, hopefully. Um, okay, so we still need security. Okay, security officers, I just want to make sure they're trained up as... Uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, so they're all trained up. We need janu janitors. Let's check them. Okay, how many... I'm going to get two more janitors. Cool, so we have like a whole army of janitors now. There's 20 of them, I believe. Let me check. 20, yep. Uh, passenger service agent is fine. Security officers are fine. Service technicians are fine. There's, see, it says there's a ramp agent sh shortage. Um, I'm not really sure why. 
um, because it's been fine for a while now, but I think what I can do is I'll, I'll hire like six more of them just to make sure we're good. I just need one more, and then I'll train them. Uh, okay, now let's go ramp agents, train them up. Okay, so hopefully those staff changes make, make a difference. Um, yeah, I think I think the next thing that I'm gonna need to really look at into is sectioning off these terminals and giving them their own arrival area, like passenger drop off, pick up. Um, because right now I, I'm just using the same one for all the areas um, but if I really want to make use of this terminal area tool which I do um, I'm gonna need to fix this situation so um, yeah we're gonna need to start thinking about possibly doing some major overhauls here like I don't know like I could always completely get rid of our old terminal area and uh, redo it um, I mean, there's things about this that I don't really like anymore, um, like this bottleneck that keeps happening, I'm not a fan of. Um, so we could try and replace this uh, somewhere else, um, but that's a bit drastic for now. Um, I don't want to do that right at this moment. What I do want to do, because I have so much disposable income, I'm going to buy the last two tiles just to say that we did it. and. Also, uh, I want to check this. Okay, so having two ATC towers does not stack the two large ATC towers. So let's get rid of the extra one. It's not necessary. Um, that was just a trial, trial thing that I wanted to do. And what's next? Uh, I'll go ahead and get catering service going. And we're going to need to get some weather systems in place. Uh, the forecast systems. Where's that at? Oh, okay. I, I should actually get, if I want more flights, I can get these radar towers. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, we'll have to look into that. Um, but the weather system, the weather station, let's go ahead and get the large one in place. Uh, I'm just going to put it over here, I guess, by my police depot, or maybe I kind of just want to stick it somewhere because it doesn't really, it doesn't really need to be accessible or anything. Um, I'll put it right there. Okay. Um, can't believe we've made it this far without needing one of those in yet, but okay. Um, and I just want to check, how's that restaurant doing? So it didn't meet sales yesterday. Cool, and now we can go ahead and get the icing permit as well. I don't know if there's anything after this. I'm kind of curious to see if there is anything after this. Okay, so... 
what's next? Um, we did get the catering service. Uh, I want to hold off on doing that yet, though. Um, I'm just wondering, like, I, I really do want to sort out this staffing problem because it's definitely an issue. You know what, I think I think that's what I'm going to start working on, is building out a new terminal for our medium aircraft and the small aircraft, um, probably put it up in this corner, and I might keep this runway, I might move it, uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I want to separate these, I don't want them using the same services, same buildings at all, I want them to be separated doing their own things. Um, like if we if we look at this, so when you create a terminal area, it needs public transport, it needs uh, vehicle service vehicle parking, aircraft stands, check-in desks, staff rooms, baggage bay, um, and you would assign the employees and the vehicles to the 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 terminal area directly. So right now everyone is kind of free for all. So I think that's one of the main reasons why we have uh, such an issue with the janitors is because they're literally having to clean the entire terminal both sides so and there's no no say like I, I could I could easily have assigned janitors to just this area and then they would only be cleaning this area um, and this number would be more representative of just this terminal uh, whereas right now it's the whole thing and they're just kind of doing a free-for-all so Maybe they'll clean something over here in the small terminal, and then all of a sudden they pick up another job that's way over here by the restaurant. So I, I kind of want to fix this um, because it's I'm definitely seeing why on a bigger scale you start to run into staffing issues and just balance issues in general. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. We're, we've kind of hit this spot where not designating terminal areas is hurting us. It's hurting our our uh, journey forward so we're gonna need to do something about this um, how's the restaurant doing it's, it's going okay uh, yeah so who this is a big undertaking <laughs> it's, uh, okay so we're, we're gonna do it um, I'm gonna do planning mode for the time being uh, I kind of want to get rid of contractors we don't need so many and and I also want to check do we have oh these are our accepted ones I just want to check if there's a better uh, contract for uh, the contractors contracts for the contractors um, which I don't think there's gonna be because that's a four star yeah, like that's there's so much more uh, per hour, five dollars and seventy cents an hour, and nine dollars and forty cents an hour. Whereas I'm currently paying two dollars and thirty cents, and I'm actually getting ninety cents off per hour on that. So yeah, I've got the best deal right now. So. Anyway, uh, enough of that. So, you know what? I'm going to do. I'm going to get the tunnel, the entrance tunnel in first. Mm, where is that? One way road. World entrance, that's what I want.
I'm definitely leaving a lot of space for parking here. Um, and I'm going to do this entrance exit. So it's going to be this main drag is going to be a one way once it's built. So I think I'm going to do this kind of in stages. So I'm going to start with the small aircraft. I'll, I'll move all of them over to this area. And then I'll start adding uh, medium aircraft and removing medium aircraft from here. And slowly I'll just chip away at this, at this infrastructure um, and just leave it. Basically the goal is to just have the check-in, baggage, handling, security, um, and the large aircraft stands. That's all I want here. Uh, and the rest will be, and then I'll, I'll have a check-in security baggage claim uh, gates for a medium small aircraft over here. Okay, so I kind of want to create like, I'm, I really have no plan. I'm just going on a whim here. <laughs> so... Uh, we can have tons of parking though. I feel like I should have just started. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm going to start from the corner. a lot of parking but you know it's it's good because we do make money off of it and uh, people need a place to park when they come to the airport uh, okay so public roads Okay, and then sidewalks.
hoping these middle two will be connected. I'm pretty sure they will be, but I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, oops. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do like, I think I'm going to put some lanes through, like I'll have the bus stop and the taxi on the same, uh, the same stream, I guess is what I'll call it, the same lane. Uh, so I'll have two taxis and then... And then separately I'll put, uh, yeah, yeah, and then separately I'll put some car pickup and drop off areas. Actually, let me, taxi, Okay, I think that's good. Um, cool. So, all right. So that's that. Um, the next thing is I also need to put in the subway, uh, subway access. That is this one. I'll put it here and then make a sidewalk, crosswalk here. Okay, and now the terminal area. So uh, let me just go into planning mode really quick. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Um, uh, 
This is for check-in. Uh, I'll put like baggage claim separately here. And we'll also put an exit here to allow them to go that way. And Okay, so, all right, that's that's kind of where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Um, yeah, so this is going to be our brand new medium small aircraft terminal. Uh, it's got tons of parking space, more streamlined arrivals and pickup zone. I mean, this one wasn't too bad, but yeah, we're going to take it up to the next level with this new one. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I totally had no idea that I was going to do this uh, during this episode. Um, but yeah, I'm full of surprises sometimes. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to we're going to redo this. We're going to redo the terminals and get them functioning hopefully as good as we can um, staffing wise. So, yeah, Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me uh, any suggestions if you have any. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, check back for the next episode. And uh, I'll see you then. Take care.